We're here with John MacArthur to ask a few questions that you have asked of him. So, John, you ready for some questions? I am. I love to answer questions. One of the things I've done through the years is try to answer the questions that our listeners and our viewers have asked. So I enjoy it. Well, they have a lot of them. Debbie from Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. She writes, in a world where everything is true and acceptable, how do you prove that the Bible is really true and that other forms of Bibles are not? Well, that's, of course, the most foundational question of all, because everything rises and falls on whether the Scripture is the Word of God. Right. So there are lots of lines of evidence which you would use to prove the veracity of Scripture. I would say one of them would be the person of Jesus Christ. The, the presentation of Christ in the Bible is beyond human invention. You remember that they said of Jesus, no man ever spoke like this man spoke. Mm -hmm. His words are just beyond all human philosophy. How do you explain Christ? So no one would have made him up. No, it couldn't have made him up. How do you explain his resurrection with 500 eyewitnesses mm -hmm. who didn't expect him to rise from the dead? How do you expect apostles who thought he was dead and were running to hide all of a sudden becoming world-changing zealot evangelists. The only explanation is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The birth of the church comes out of that. So how do you explain the Old Testament giving 350 prophecies of Jesus Christ, half of them coming true historically and recorded so in the New Testament, the other half are going to come true at his second coming? Mm. This is a very, very powerful apologetic for Scripture. Another one you would use is science. When people are saying the world is flat, the Bible says that the earth is a sphere. Hmm. When people were saying that the, the world was floating in space, the Bible says it turns on an axis like clay to the seal. It rotates on its own axis. Uh, the Bible says the stars can't be numbered in a day when scientists had counted 1,023 of them. And now we know they can't be numbered. So there are scientific things. You look at archaeology. And you can compare the history of the, of the Scripture with what archaeology has discovered. You'll find precise conformity to those facts. And one other one, and I would say it's the defense of experience. The Word of God does what it says it will do. It transforms lives. If you would like to continue to email us questions, please do so. This is a great opportunity. Email us at tvletters at gty.org. And that way we'll continue to get to access uh, John and his ministry in a way that's very personal to you.